purpose. All right, everybody, you just heard the trailer for Overlord from 2018, directed by a guy named Julius Avery. He has nine directorial credits, mostly shorts, except for this one and one other that I've never heard of. Um, and I've got to say, it's funny because this was a bigger budget movie. I mean, it wasn't like a huge budget, but it was like thirty million or something like that, right? J.J. Yeah, J. Abram behind. Well, it. no, but the thi- but my question is, is, how do some guys that have like literally, like not literally, but like basically not a whole lot of cred, get a movie like this to direct it? Well, maybe right. maybe they're sucking the Jones or whatever. But well, oh, they I'm, know someone. Yeah, hey, my it's brother. It's all about who you know. You no, know, and uh, I'm just interesting because it's like. Oh, so sorry. The thirty-eight million uh, budget for this was uh, uh, the budget for this movie was thirty-eight million from IMDb. Take that for what you will, because I mean, who knows how true that is? Whatever. Yeah, Joe Bob says take those yeah, numbers saying, and shove them in your ass. Like it could be less or more. Well, it's less, probably less. way less. Um, but I'm just saying, um, there's a they lot. They did a great. Well, uh, never mind. I'm saying there's I'll, a lot of great directors who go out and make those Blumhouse movies for five million. You know, even though even if this wasn't thirty-eight million, it's more than five million. Oh yeah, I think the basic. Yeah. It was written by a guy named Billy Ray. No, not Cyrus. Not Cyrus. He not wrote the. the scene. Don't tell my fart. Don't. Okay, well, my it's dirty, late. It's late dirty in the fart. night. My dirty stinky fart. Twenty-four writing credits. He he, uh, he 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 also wrote Terminator: Dark Fate, Color of Night. Oh. By the way, have you ever seen Color of Night? You see Bruce Willis's Ding Dong. Oh Jesus! Why do I want to see that? I have a poster. Of it's his, juicy. His dong on my wall. Really? Yeah. Uh, from Color of it's Night? It's signed, too. Do you go to Kinko's? You know what? You could sign. I, it, maybe his middle name is the longest middle name ever, because that's a big, juicy dick. No offense to Bruce Willis. Oh, he's sorry, got a good one? He's got a good one. I mean, I saw in Color of Night, and he's banging this like Asian chick who's tiny, and I'm like, that's going to bust her in half, bro. Jesus. Bruh. You it's know what's like, also nice is he shaves the, like, the middle top, so it's like he's got a bald dick as well. <laughs> he, wasn't, he wasn't bald in the Color of Night. Is that what you night. do? But, yeah. uh, but also, this guy, Billy Ray, wrote Volcano, Suspect Zero, Hunger Games, and a few other movies. Oh, he wrote that? Yeah, well, I mean, not the book, the screenplay. Yeah, well, of course, the... the book was written by uh, Catherine Turner. Oh, is that true? Or Catherine, yeah, I know her name's Catherine. I have no idea. Catherine Turner, Catherine... Catherine and Hooch. <laughs> Ricky Jesus, made it funny. Ricky, what the hell Ricky made it funny. Doing? Good job. See, you make me smile. You make me smile. Mark L. Smith also helped with the screenplay. Nine writing to credits. Vacancy 1 and 2. The Martyrs. Oh, that's remake. a very, very. What's the oh, remake? Mar- sorry, Martyrs. I was, because I read oh, it, the Martyrs remake, but I was. Not gonna, the uh, French one. Just Martyrs. Uh, remake. They did a remake of that? Nah, it's not good. Yeah. Oh. The Revenant. Not the one that we were talking about the other the, day. The bear rape? The one where Leo gets raped by a bear. And I remember you saying that. So it's like I made, made sure to put that in. And uh, he also That's apparently helped. Bear rape scene. He helped write a Quentin Tarantino Star Trek project, which is it's cool. Not, it's is it cool? Not a, it hasn't come out. or it, No, no, he's writing that, though. Yeah, he's but I don't right. think Quentin's doing that anymore. Well, I don't know. All I know is I watched The Wrath of Khan in the last two weeks. That's a choice movie. Like, is that like, Star Trek? That yeah, has Star Trek, uh, Ricardo Cohen. Montalban. Rico- like the plane, but that's his side. Buddy. That's that's tattoo. Yeah, but all I'm a, saying is, I like, think it's tattoo. No, it's oh, he oh, says tattoo. that a ton in fantasy. Tattoo. It's like tattoo, tattoo. He's oh, like, the busty plane. She she's looking for love. Tattoo. Let's um, see. you know what's funny is I liked all the old Star Wars or Star Trek movies. I liked the the motion picture with uh, with uh, Leonard Nimoy in them. Yep, I liked uh, Wrath of Khan. I liked Search for Spock. I like uh, the one with the whales, and that's, I think that's the last one I saw. Sleeping with the whales, I think it is. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I oh, that's a good. I didn't like album. any of the like the new gener the next generation ones, even though those were still old. But I like the new ones good enough. New ones, yeah. New ones are pretty. I'm good. not a fan of the old Star Trek. I just think it's so boring. Well, well, I didn't ever watch the TV show, so I didn't. But I like the old movies. I think right. they're good, even though uh, uh, you uh, didn't like. A Captain Shatner. Kirk. Shatner. I, I Shatner. love. Uh, Shatner is ninety years old now. Do you know that? In those movies, he's probably like sixty or almost sixty. And I it's got like a countdown clock on what's that. What's the guy. guy's uh, name? Captain Picard. Um, cool dude. Baldy? George yeah, yeah. C. Scott. No. <laughs> uh, I he was remember. in Green Room. Whatever. Alan Picard. Uh, this movie starred Jovan Adepo, <laughs> the black guy that all the trivia was based on. Uh, Private First Class Edward Boyce. Wyatt Russell, Kurt Russell, and Goldie Hawn's kid as Corporal Lewis Ford. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Back that up. is? Yeah. Ooh, what What guy? Oh, uh, oh the, the guy. The main white guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. He was kind of the main character. I mean, but both of them were. 
I, th- I feel like I feel like you needed to have both because one was like purely logic and the other one was like, man, I got some feelings. Yeah. You know, I you had to have that. Said, uh, Yo, motherfucker. What's he going to do? I got do? some yeah. feelings. Well, he was. Yeah. No, I, yeah. I agree. I'm Neither of them were he bad. He was snatched up like, oh, you're going to war now. Yeah. I just was done with my job yesterday. <laughs> it starred Pilu Abchek, it, it, which Wait, is weird. Was Pilu Ab. So he has one of those letters that's an A and an E attached to each other. Oh, that's. Uh, captain Waffner and SS. Like, he was the Humpstenfjörder. I don't know what that means. The captain, he was like the main. He, you know, he looked like a young Ray Liotta. Do you know who else he looked like? The guy yeah, in yeah, Game yeah. of Thrones. Yeah. The guy in Game of Thrones who was uh, Jamie. No, he, no, he was uh, the, the he was the uncle of the guy who got his dick eaten. Yes, he does. He, huh? No, he is that guy. So that's oh, why that that's, that's, that's why he looks a lot like that guy because he is that guy. So, so remember that sister who was all butch and stuff like that and. I thought maybe we'd have the more lesbian scenes all, with Spoiler her. alert. Well, but she wins the whole no, she Game of Thrones, yeah, doesn't know. she? No, she doesn't. Does anybody win? She's got um, she's got sticker or whatever that sword was. <laughs> Banger. Continue. Oh, Mat- you're thinking Swiper. of Arya, but no. No, you wrong, bro. Yeah. Oh. Matilda Oliver is Chloe Sorry. Laurent, uh, a French civilian. Uh, John Magaro is uh, Private First Class Lyle Tibbet, the uh, Italian guy. Bokeem Woodbine, which, by the way, I don't know what happened to Bokeem Woodbine. He was in a ton of stuff in the 90s. He disappeared. He was, he's a black guy on the on the a plane. He's like, yeah, all right. You Come know, on, yeah. motherfucking maggots. Yeah, and it's like, I don't know what happened to that yeah, guy. Yeah. I love that he guy. Played like yeah. a, he always played like a, a thuggish type of character. Yeah, but yeah. the thing is, I always thought he was great in movies, yeah, 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 but the, yeah. I don't know what happened to him. Anyway. I probably was just done with shit. Same thing as yeah. uh, the, the big old guy from Green Mile. Well, he died. Oh. Yeah, he did. He did. Heart attack. Fart His attack. heart attacked him until he died. <laughs> it's the eve of D-Day in he World didn't have War II. Green Mile beans or whatever to get him back. A group of American soldiers are being flown over the ocean with a mission to destroy a German radio tower over an old church in France, which, by the way, might be preventing the people flying into Normandy. Do you know where Normandy was? France. Yeah. Yeah. It was in France. Okay, so D-Day, day before D-Day, these guys had to do their shit. Um, It's a radio jamming tower which kills Allied communications. They need to kill the tower so the Allies can communicate with their air support. The kids on the plane seem pumped, if not apprehensive, to get to work. All seem, it all seems like it's going well until their plane starts taking fire. Side note, F, uh, I said, I said, F, uh, I said F, uh, but in my notes, uh, I'm not a big war movie fan, by the way. I mean, I've seen Saving Private Ryan. It was too, it was brutal Did on my, on my emotions. Did you see Cook? Yeah, it, it was, was brutal great. on me. And the, what was that last one, 1917 or whatever that was? What was it? I, I bought that Blu-ray. That, uh, Is that the one with Ben Affleck? So that, Pearl no. Harbor? The 1917 one was, I mean, I didn't love it, but I appreciated the cinematography. But because the thing is. It was like they, they didn't cut away. No. But that would like but, they would film yeah, a watch, scene for like thirty I feel like minutes war where it movies, never cut. War right. movies are too much for my guts to handle. They're too sad because there's oh, all these you got kids. Some little baby guts. No, so, well, I got baby guts, of course. Anyway, uh, I mean, because you got people getting shot in the plane, and all of a sudden these kids who are, you know, basically kids got to jump out to their, you know, to who knows what's going to happen. <laughs> all yeah. of a sudden their plane takes a hit, and the plane loses an engine. It's time to jump. The green light turns on, so it's go time. The plane is still taking fires. The soldiers are jumping out of the plane. The plane is crash landing. Maybe it's okay. Blah, blah, blah. I was going to go into the war stuff right there. I just did it on my emotions, but I actually had it in my notes, too. Oh, I like that. After the crash, only a handful of soldiers have survived. They take some time to regroup at the rally point and get moving. They make their way. Dead bodies are hanging from the trees. They see a bunch of all sorts of shit. They run into mines and stuff like that. Um, But they also see a couple of weird, unexplainable things. They come into contact with a young woman from the village, Chloe, who is wandering in the woods. She takes him to the village after she realizes soldiers aren't going to hurt her. Blah, blah, blah. The church is in her same village. Uh, people in her village are assholes. Do you remember that one time when she's like, yeah. you, you're out yeah. after curfew? <laughs> yeah. oh, and she Jesus. blew that She blew that Nazi whistle. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it's like, shut the fudge up, old Rocks lady. are going through your window, honey. It's like, no, listen. I mean. How do you love the Nazis in your in your when they've taken over your village? You're still going to tell on poor. And Chloe? you still know Chloe. That's like yeah, I've known her for fucking twenty years. The and soldier, I'm going to blow my horn. No, on and her. it's like get the f out, old lady. She's the first Karen. 
The soldiers take yeah, refuge indeed. in Chloe's house for a while. Inside, Chloe's aunt is suffering. She's all messed up. Do you know who played her aunt, by the way? Meg Foster. Do you know who Meg yeah. Foster is? She was a uh, member of Lord of Sa- Lords of Salem, and she th- she was in uh, she was in They I Live. Remember Lords of La- Salem. They Live. She was the uh, the very blue eyed, beautiful girl back in the day. Oh, now she looks okay. like old as shit. Whatever. She was a vic. Oh, I'm not going to tell you about that. Age. Yet. As the film moves along, Boyce and Ford, Boyce and Ford are <coughs> the two main guys, the black guy and then uh, the and young, the, the son of uh, Kurt yeah. Russell. Uh, they see a truckload of really messed up bodies being taken out of the back entrance, like not all in pieces, but they look very strange, like burns, strange cysts. They look like Chloe's aunt. But the Nazis incinerate the pile of bodies, dead or alive. Boyce, as he's watching, gets, a, gets chased by a German shepherd. I mean, that makes sense. The Nazis would have German shepherds, right? Of course. Of course. He I flees mean, and jumps in the back of a Nazi truck full of dead bodies. He's going along with the rest of the bodies into the church. He sees some shit in there. Cells full of monstrosities within as the doctor does his rounds. He's even walking into the doctor's lab where there are some experiments going on. Some pretty messed up shit. Okay. Right. He even finds one of the soldiers that was one of the on the same plane as him. He rescues him. But what the shit was going on there? Boyce makes it back to Chloe's house, where the rest of the surviving soldiers are with his friend who needs help. He even managed to get a hold of some serum that the doctor was using in his experiments. But at this point in the movie, and we're just about halfway through here, lots of stuff has happened, but there's much more that's about to happen. What is the serum that Boyce retrieved from the church? Will the company complete their mission and destroy the communications tower? How much effed up stuff are we going to see in this movie? Find out by watching Overlord from 2018. I mean, you gave 79% of the movie away there, but... Um, I, I literally didn't talk about anything until, I mean, it was like until right the last to the half 20% point. of the movie? Sure. No, until the last 50% of the movie, no, bro. 50. Totally, totally. What about that guy that No, I literally stopped taking notes. Ball. Stopped taking notes. Well, he was a... Well, Nazis are dicks. I feel like they made that very clear in this movie. Like, dude, you're going to spit on my ball and throw it back? At least he didn't Jesus. spit on his balls. That would be a whole new level. <laughs> that would be. But I don't, I don't not think that the Nazis did that. They're like, I'm going to uns and spit on your balls. And have no, they made Nazis look pretty, out. pretty much like assholes here. Let's mm-hmm. be. Well, and they also made the Americans look like knightly and amazing. And who knows? Maybe it was like that. I wasn't there. My grandpa was there. I'm sure know. both sides have their own versions. Yeah, your grandpa well, of course. Would smack your sweet ass and say. No, I, we talked about my grandpa listen, in 279. Here, he hated sis- my guts because sissy. I would, I would waste. Your ice. grandpa would call you a sissy. I'm so sure. Listen would. here, sissy. You're He's like, talk you've about never killed anybody with your bare hands. I'm like, no. You never chopped the head off a fucking python. <laughs> Jesus, what I, are you talking about? I haven't about? done that either. What'd you guys think about the movie? I think it's great. It's a fantastic movie. I, I enjoy it. I love it. And I've seen it. And I watched it. <laughs> it <laughs> sounds it. like you Thank did. It. Yeah, it's like, I loved it. I watched it. It was great. Did you, did watch, you the movie, watch it? Yes, I've oh. seen it a couple uh, times. So you uh, didn't watch thing, it again, though. So you I just... did watch it again, and I will say this: the acting style of the Italian guy totally fucking ganked. Irritating. Vinny Del Pino, Vinny Del Pino oh, from uh, gotcha. Doogie Hauser. Gotcha. When I was watching, I was like, "Is that not the same guy?" Just kidding. That guy's but, like but fifty-seven. What I, will, but I mean, it's just a generic like portrayal. Would you say it's a racist? Uh, what do you call that? Uh, uh, profile. Yeah, um, but Italians you really? can get You'd away with, that? though, because they don't give a shit no, about Italians getting made fun of. No. Like, they're not ones to be like, fuck you for doing that. He'd like, be like, yeah, hey, yeah. fuck you and your mother. But, yeah. then, but then it's like, Nature's, oh, that's, yeah, that's yeah. exactly hey, how they, 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 your they, ass, they right? laugh at that, and they're happy to get portrayed as that. They don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. You know? No, what I'm saying is, that guy, and if you're listening to this podcast in any way, <laughs> please tell me that I know where you got your character study from. Because that's what <laughs> actors Pino. do. Is Vinny Del Pino, Max Cassell, he was the best friend to Doogie Hauser. And and I'm I telling you him too. I'm telling you, he played him to the and that's what actors do. They go, I need to Hauser. embrace a character and make it my own. And You're I'm saying Vinny Del Pino, that's so you it's know. funny you say that. He's what he's the one character from the whole movie where I was like, I don't really like this. I character. didn't like him. He was irritating until yeah. until, until the, the end. Did you like Vinny yeah. Del Pino from I've never watched Doogie Howser. Doogie Howser. Any episode. It was Go the same dude. The no, same I'm not dude. ever gonna watch it. I'm not gonna watch that again ever. So with Overlord, I watched it when it first came out. I did and too. And this was my experience with it. It was it was um framed in this portrayal of a certain type of movie. 
and then I watched it and I was disappointed. Not because the movie was bad, but because I was led to believe it was going to be something different. Um, gotcha. So I was. What you What you think? More horror-y or what? More, um, just straight. Yeah, more horror and more action. It is okay. long um, in the beginning there before they get I, to the goodies. The beginning was some of the best parts. I agree. Um, and it just kind of slowed down, and I wasn't prepared for that necessarily when I first watched it. Gotcha. Because I think it over, overhyped it in my head. But now watching it again, um, I liked it a lot. It was great. It was uh, the characters were fun. The the violence was great. That part with the head, there, the, the spine, where it's just yeah. Talking. That I was gonna say that freaked me. <laughs> I mean, that, I was watching. And I was like, oh shit. Um, there was obviously still some silly parts, but overall, um, I would say definitely check it out. Like, cool. I just love the idea of this like genre. Like we were talking about the Frankenstein one. No, oh, bro, um, Frankenstein's army. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, I've got episode. I've got a lot to talk about that because it's like. It, I'm fascinated with that. Anyway, I didn't mean to cut you off, but yeah. it's just like... Uh, but but yeah, it's like that's the kind of the genre of this movie is the Frankenstein's Army thing. And I, and I like that idea or it's alternate alternate history where the Germans were coming up with this crazy shit during World War II. Like, no, like the, the thought of the occult, not the, Hitler and the Nazis... Well, who was his name? It was Unsentein... You know, he, was doing those, he was doing those tests on, I no idea. on people. Here's the thing, though. There's, Himmler! Uh, now Himmler was actually kind of he kind of turned around towards the end. What's so? Well, who was it? He was doing all those tests on people. Uh, the guy that was uh, it out. was uh, Wanda the Wicked Warden. No, Ilsa. It was Ilsa, She Wolf of the SS, no. that did that stuff. Um, but like I was saying, I find it fascinating that Hitler had an interest in all this occult stuff. Um, so I looked it up, right, and I found out some interesting things. Apparently, and in, this is off Wikipedia, so take it for what it will, what you will. The Nazi party actually was formed from a group of occult groups that thought the new Messiah would come and save Germany. Kind of Hitler was like, hey, guess what? That's me. He appropriated Christian and other religions uh, symbolism, in- including the swastika from the Hindus. You know, yeah, he, the, he, he flipped it around. Yeah, and, it's and old did school, the, the swasti. Um, but there's a lot of stuff about that. It's, I mean, it, but the thing is, if you, I mean, apparently today, even if you go by some Hindu like households, they got the real one. Which is which is called a? It's a symbol for the sun. I don't know what it's yeah, called. I don't know how about true that is, but there is actual. It's sorry in to, Wikipedia. Sorry to cut you off. I know, but I don't know how about true that stuff is. But there is legitimate doctors um, in the Nazi Party that were just doing brutal, weird, strange experiments. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there was one. It was really interesting that I read about where they would take any twins that they found. Yeah. Any, okay. And they would just do all sorts of crazy. Isn't that shit weird though? <laughs> hey, listen. How great was Raiders of the Lost Ark? Okay. How great was Wolfenstein video games? Remember that shit? Oh, of course. Uh, what about Hellboy? Even. Um, I mean, the thing is, those are just like the three that came to my mind when I was writing my notes. But it's like I feel like it's such a ripe, ripe place to get material from, right? Yeah, because and, it has a, a, a deep and, pl- and plus light. What do you need in a video game? No, or also, a movie? you need also, a story. They are the clear cut bad a guys. Storyline. Yeah. I mean, this is not some like wavering whatever. These Nazis are the clear cut bad guys. So take this stuff into it and make it you know as fun as you want. But you'll never root for a Nazi, ever. True and so, that. no, and that's what I'm saying. Oh, so, we could write a movie where you can. <sighs> but I'm not going to do that. Uh, you could write a movie where you could, though. Yeah, that's what I just fucking thought. I really like this movie, I mean, you guys. you're going to write one. I don't, like I said, I don't I love know. war movies, but everything that came out of it, the camaraderie between the guys, the, the you know, there was a, even a I couple. I call this a uh, war movie. Yeah, but I don't even like I don't even like movies about wars Why? because I don't know it just it's just too real. I don't know. I don't you just you clench your butthole too tight. Well, have you ever seen Saving Private Ryan? That freak. That, you know what my that grandfather? Me over. My grandfather. I have yet to watch this movie, but he says if you want to see what World War II is like, and God love him, that angry old man, ninety-seven years old, he passed on to live with Jesus in heaven. He said, if you want to see... Now, this is coming from a 97-year-old man. He says, Omaha Beach. I've never even heard He said, watch that movie. And he says, that's what it was like. No shit. Well, he would know more than any of us would. I mean, yeah. But it's like, you don't want to bring that up to granddad, you know. Hey, granddad, remember Omaha Beach? (laughs) Hey, hey, granddad, let's watch Overlord. Was it like that? He'd go... Jesus, I'm exploding on the insides. <laughs> I've never seen this kind of shit. 
Even though I don't like the war movies, this one was great. Violent, crazy, action, horror. Special effects were nuts. Both a lot of like uh, of uh, CGI, but also a lot of practical effects. I feel like the CGI was obviously in the planes and you know and very good stuff practical like. effects. It, it felt it, but the practical effects in that doctor's uh, laboratory, nuts. Yeah, I felt like there was nuts. one scene with the CGI where it was the guy, the young Ray Liotta guy. He, his face when he was like uh, it was like yeah. half gone. There was a part where it was like really close up on it and it started to transform. And I was like, "What is going you on know, here?" Okay, so let me let me point out one thing. Remember the photographer? Spoiler, right? Yeah. He you know, they they plug him with that stuff and all of a sudden, and all yeah. of a sudden, that was all practical. I so, can see that. So it's like, and I was like, "Holy!" I mean, I mean, I read that after watching it, going, "No way, that was crazy." That whole scene was great too, where everyone was just like, "What the fuck?" Well, that's <laughs> a, that's a part when he died. I was just like, "Yeah." Oh, man. And then two seconds later, they shoot him up with that, and all of a sudden, you got to kick his stupid ass to you know live. And why um, would you ever unzip the bag? Help me! I don't care what's go what's screaming at me on the inside of that bag. Going, oh God, please help! It's like I'm not unzipping. I feel that. like Shane, you don't know that until you're there, bro. Right? I don't know if you know that till you're there. True that. I give this movie a high buy. I really liked it. I actually own it on Blu-ray, but it was also on Amazon. So it's like these guys will it'll be easy for them to watch. So there you go. I agree. Um, it, it is a good, it's one of like the top tier types of this type of movie. I agree. Also, once you know that guy is son of Kurt Russell, you look at him and yeah. every, every once in a while you're like, I gotcha. Uh, it's is like, it oh, the actual of them both? Tonight. Like they're yeah. actual? Because no. I love Goldie Hawn's daughter. What's her name? Uh, she was I in don't a like skeleton her. key. No, I don't like her because she broke oh, up. Oh, she's no, Kate she Hudson. broke. Yes, she Kate broke Hudson. up the black crows. She yokoed the black crows, so she can shut the. She can what? The skeleton she yokoed key. the black crows. Skeleton Bruce Lee? key is one no, of uh, my no, top. Kate uh, Hudson. Bruce, uh, Kate Hudson. Kate Hudson. Yeah. Kate Hudson. She dated the lead singer. She yokoed. Fuck that. She yokoed the black crows. She got good better. News, but Skeleton Key though is like in one of my top tens of like horror movies. I haven't seen that in a long time, but oh. I but I do remember liking it. Oh, even that's though she's down in, in uh, New Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans. That's all I got. I really like this movie. Yeah, I didn't care for the music too much, but uh, there you have it. I don't even re- recall. Yeah, what the were music. they playing in the music? Was it Papa Roach? <laughs> it was. No, if it was Papa Roach, bone saws all around. By the way. <laughs> all right, so let's go Cut over the my question. Life into pieces. This <laughs> is my last resort. That was the worst scene. Could that of, could mean, that possibly kill any movie that you're listening right. to? Where it's like, <laughs> if that launches, like in, the intro scene, they're in like the plane. Pieces. It's going down, and that's plane. It's like Jesus Christ. Turn it off right away. <laughs> yeah. So let's go over the question of the episode. So let's recap it. I'm not going to tell you what I've been watching recently, but in it, there's probably one of the most underrated movie, quote unquote, monsters. Uh, this person gets so little respect, in my opinion, but could possibly want, be one of no the most respect. terrifying bad guys in any movie or show. What are your underrated horror villains and why? Call it in at 385-351-9273. 385-351-9273. Do not forget to go to youtube.corpsecollective.com. We've got 280 coming up pretty soon. Yep. Vimeo.corpsecollective.com. The 280 is already there. Or the Roku channel. Uh, just search the Corpse Cast in the uh, channel store. Yes, indeed. But if that's Subscribe, all we got. Subscribe, like, and But comment. mostly watch on, I would say mostly watch on YouTube. Let's just Get in let's there. try the YouTube. How yeah. about that? And tell it's your friends, so accessible. too. Also, it's, yeah, it's great. And you can to see our beautiful tell your friends. faces. Well, on Vimeo, you can, too, but I'd prefer them watch it on, on YouTube. I mean, but nobody goes to Vimeo. That's what I'm saying. Vimeo's only there for Roku is the back. Anyway, anything else tell you Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Anything else? Or tell should your mom I say, and dad too? Should I? No, don't tell your mom and dad. They're going to hate us. Just your dad. Tell your dad for sure. Get him down there and say, Daddy, look at this. But only if he's one of those here. cool dads. It's like, what are you doing down here, son? Yeah. Only if he's a cool dad. It's like, what, what you got there? A marijuana cigarette? Exactly. Let me get some of that. Yeah. Jesus, what's going on? So I remember, oh, nothing, Daddy. I'm watching. I remember the, the Mary Jane back in 1972 before you were born. I used to love it. Panama. Panama yeah. Red. All right. Best we Let's ever. just end this. Should we just did it, or do you want to keep talking about cool dads? Because I'm good with either. I mean, you're a cool dad. So for the Corpse Cast, we'll catch you guys later. Take it easy. <laughs>
Don't reveal the truth of your life